Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be just a quickie about a couple of coneflowers. I was watching Guiding Green Thumbs uh, last week, I think it was. And they were given a little abbreviated garden tour of their garden because some things were looking very good in there, even though they're like me so far behind on weeding and keeping up with stuff this year. But I'm sure they're much further because they're very busy with their new piece of property. But anyway, uh, in that video, she was just ecstatic about all of her cone flowers. And in one in particular, a, brand, a variety called Kismet. So I went out and thought, well, you know, those, those are supposed to be a little shorter. I love cone flowers also, as do the butterflies and the bees and the little goldfinches here in my yard. Love cone flowers. And I tend to let them go to sea for a little while in the winter and let them feed on those. And then I wind up with cone flowers all in the yard. But that's fine. Uh, you know, I divide them out and share with the neighbors. Anyway, I did a little research on YouTube about the Kismet coneflower. Found that there was red, yellow, and orange for sure. And I went to the local nurseries and I found this little red one. So I thought, you know what, I'll pick up the little red one, cosmic coneflower, see what I like, or see how it does. And then we can uh, add more, the yellow and the orange and other things too. And also while I was there, I noticed this proven winter's cone flower called Summer Song Fire Finch. I think as a name change, I don't remember what it used to be called, or I really don't even know what it used to be called. I haven't done the research to figure out what they changed to Summer Song Fire Finch. But it's got, as you can see, it's got some, the colors are a little different within it. The shades of pink and purple and red so it goes through changes as it's growing and flowering and stuff but I thought these two this little red kismet and this summer song uh, fire finch by proven winners I thought they would look good here with my red and yellow columbine which I deadheaded after the storm came through and I'm getting a few more blooms on it. As you can see, I still have debris from the storm that I haven't cleaned up yet, and weeds. I'm working on it. This is all a process. I'll go through some of that too. But this video is going to be was well, supposed to be short. It's already three minutes. It looks like it's just going to be me planting these two cone flowers. And we're going to start with this kismet. As you can see, I already have the hole dug. I already have the biotone starter fertilizer in the hole so we'll go ahead and put this one in the ground and let you watch me do that hopefully I can set this up where you can see uh, me actually doing this let's see here there we are, right there. Yep, that's it. You can see the hole. I'm behind the camera now, in case my sound's not that good. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. But uh, we'll get this in the ground. And break up those roots a little bit, because they're circling. And remember, you want to plant them high as Roger from uh, this old house taught me decades ago, and as I noticed Aaron on Garden Answer has uh, taken up the philosophy. <laughs> but plant them high, they won't die. Plant them low, they won't grow. So I've got this above the soil surface, surrounding surface. As you can see, about a couple of inches, and maybe not two inches. But uh, weeding as I'm going to. Tree roots, 
we'll get this watered in. So there's the little kismet. Uh, and now I'm going to plant this Proven Winter's Coneflower Summer Song Fire Finch. And I'm gonna plant it right where it sits. So I'll get this hole dug. I get the camera set up. Hopefully I won't knock it over. Get my shovel. This uh, leaf hummus from the city. Split city supplies. I mean, they don't. We pay for it, but not that expensive. But it is good stuff. You can see dark and rich. All right, now put in a little starter fertilizer, Biotone starter fertilizer. Get my knee pads. Get my old body down here. out of the pot perfect set it in there back fill around it pack it in and there you have it may have that one too close to that columbine but I can always move them later they get to growing together Knowing me, I'll probably move the move them anyway. I don't have Laura's ability to to see how it looks in my mind before I plant it. I have to see stuff. In, I have to see it in the ground for a while to decide whether I like it there or not. So I wind up moving stuff a lot, transplanting. I'll show you some of that one of these days, maybe when I'm, I transplanted a. Brandywine viburnum yesterday. I guess I should have videoed that. Uh, moved it from one location to another location. All right, guys. There's me planting those two cone flowers. Now I'll eat well, this. I meant for this to be a three or four or five minute video. It's eight minutes. So. Uh, getting up and down is hard an old man. All right, there we have it. Quick little <laughs> eight minute video of how I'm planting these. I'll give you updates on them as they go along throughout the year. But I just thought these were gorgeous coneflowers. We'll see how they keep looking. I'll keep you informed. Hope you're having a fantastic day, guys. Uh, it's been kind of warm and hot here in Northeast Ohio today, humid. Just that alone, right then, I'm dripping wet already. Uh, again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and the thumbs up if you like this video. Keep on gardening, guys. Have a great one.